We continue celebrating six years of Wonder Wardrobe. And for this special anniversary, I've prepared six different videos. And all of them are with the Wonder Wardrobe students. I want them to tell their stories and share how their capsules came to be. They are all very different. They have completely different background and their styles are completely different. Even though some of them have the same color types, their palettes are very different. And I love this, that we have so much diversity and I want to celebrate this. Okay, the third Wonder World of student that I had a chat with was Daniela from Italy. Welcome, Daniela. So thank you so much for being here with me, supporting Wonder Wardrobe for it's a, pleasure. a few years already, I know. And uh, I feel like we're already friends because we talked so much in the classroom. I remember in the, I was watching your first step, so how you were making your capsule. And now, of course, you are almost... Uh, like a professional <laughs> capsule maker. So. Oh, I wish, I wish, but <laughs> thank you so much. I'm I'm very flattered by your words. Thank you, thank you. Tell me first, um, how did you start? Because you sent me the before and after of your capsule. So I want to know what have you tried before you took the course, what worked and what maybe didn't work that well? I think my capsule uh, the before that I sent you shows that, um, well, it basically shows my main mistake that I did in the past, which was relying very much on uh, neutrals, because I think maybe even more in the past than at this point, there was this whole movement, you know, minimalism and uh, just those neutral capsules and obviously there is there are many advantages to having a capsule which is in neutral shades but even the neutral shades as you point out so well at the very beginning of your course it could be with a warm undertone or a cold undertone so not even the neutrals are that neutral and unproblematic right Mm -hmm. And so uh, for me, I think that my before capsule shows very well uh, that it was disastrous in the sense that it was all, almost all cold undertones, right? That is such a big difference that you could probably see in my before and after. So what I did before the course was basically uh, more or less just researching YouTube. There's obviously so much that is appealing to you in that content because it's well made because it's meant to be entertaining because the editing is well made and you think okay th this works this is for me knowing what i know now i see that i really had no idea i was um watching the content trying to emulate what i saw in those videos mm -hmm. but not really having the fundamental knowledge of what I should do. And this completely changed with your course. You took the course and then how long did it take for you to create your first Wonder Wardrobe? Was it hard? Did it take a long time? Um, well, it was hard because on taking your course, I realized mm -hmm. what was wrong with my wardrobe, right? So this was, mm -hmm. This is the first step. Now you know, and you cannot unknow what you know. <laughs> and so I went to my closet and uh, I went to my wardrobe and thought, ah, okay, it all makes sense now, right? It makes sense why I purchased something. And I thought the cut was great and I thought it would suit me, but the color is completely wrong for me, right? It's, for example, a jacket. I I really loved a jacket and it was gray, which is um, already not a good start for someone who is an autumn like me. Uh, but then it was also of a uh, cold undertone, which I then learned with, uh, with your course. And I just thought, oh, 
this is not good. Obviously, I cannot just change my clothes, you know, just throw everything uh, away and go and purchase new things. But it was a great starting point. And uh, just knowing what's, what's wrong, what's not working is basically, I mean, almost everything you need to know. And then it's just upwards from there. Let's just uh, look at your capsule that you showed me. This is your latest one for spring. It's really pretty. Even the layout, I love how organized it is. You point out all your features and the characteristics. And I think it's very practical. It's nice. And this is your capsule for, for work. Is that correct? Uh, well, that would be my capsule for dressing up in general. Mm, so it would okay. be for work. It would be for uh, going out in the evening, for uh, cultural events. Yeah, just dressing up. You don't have that many items in no, here. No. But you probably have more in your closet, no? Or <laughs> No, not really. I mean, obviously, I, I have more in a sense of uh, pajama sets, if that's what you mean, probably <laughs> not. Uh, mm -hmm. the, thing, the thing is uh, that uh, for the past two years, I've been in the midst of a huge life project, which was uh, buying a family home. Mm. And I also have a son. Obviously, uh, his needs come first for me and my husband. So in terms of uh, spending... It's always um, the necessities for our son, then for our uh, life, like obviously groceries and paying the bills and so on. So this has meant in this period that my budget for buying clothes is almost in existence. Uh, so the first reason being uh, financial constraints and the second reason being I really choose carefully. So for every garment that I pick, I... Oh my God, the work around it. Uh, I do research, I study the material. Well, I think you're, you're doing just great because some people, exactly. I think they think that clothes are just for fun. Maybe they just uh, buy it, wear it, throw it away and repeat. And that's definitely not the way to go. You lose a lot of money, you lose energy and you lose yourself as well. And how does it feel now that you have this capsule? How does it feel to live with it? For me, it feels amazing. There's a saying, you know, the clothes don't make the man. And maybe they don't in a sense that they should define who you are. Mm -hmm. But this is something that sh should support you in your everyday life. You know, after our session, I'm going to the gym. I will put on clothes that will support me in that activity, you know, I will put mm -hmm. on shorts that are made in a way that they um, absorb sweat, that they um, stretch when I need them to stretch. I will have a t-shirt that, again, will support me in this activity. And then in the evening, I might go to a concert with my husband. I want to look presentable, pretty, but I also want to uh, be comfortable if I will be sitting. So mm. to have clothes that support you in your activities is just amazing. That's so beautiful. I really like that you have a very, um, you're very content with uh, your uh, capsule, I would say. And uh, even that it's small, maybe this is the smallest capsule that I'm going to show in this video. You, you're still so excited about it, you know, and that's that's the thing. Even when I started creating this method, I, I, I was thinking exactly like this, that some people might not need a lot of clothes or might not might not afford a lot of clothes or there are different situations in life and uh, all the rules about capsule wardrobes they were like no you need 30 items and this is the list of what you need and I'm like but not everybody can uh, have these 30 items some people need less some people need more or much more we have students that have like 200 outfits in their capsules and that's okay we will always uh, cheer for them anyway but that's another great thing about your course that 
how non-judgmental it is, right? It is not about having um, 50 outfits or 100 outfits or being a minimalist, you know, because it's mm. trendy, because you have to be. It's, it's just about you being content with the number of garments you have, the number of outfit, uh, outfits, sorry, for them to be supporting of your everyday activities. And that's all that matters, right? And it's not about a specific number. So thank you for that, for creating a, uh, uh, creating such a supportive environment where really uh, no one is judging you. And even the ladies, when we're posting on Slack, it is very different, as you said, right? You have maximalists and you have minimalists and you have uh, women who are about to travel Europe, travel the world, change locations. They're getting pregnant. They, they have just given birth. And so uh, it, it is never about the, the number of outfits. No one ever mentions this because it's completely unimportant. I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed this one as well. We have a lot of different examples in our community app. So students constantly share their capsule wardrobes so everyone can draw inspiration from that. If you ever wanted to join the Wonder Wardrobe course, you should check wonder-wardrobe.com. We've prepared a very special and rare gift that will make joining us so much easier. I hope to see you soon in the classroom.